The Interrogative Duo Determiners versus Pronouns in English Hello Language Explorers! Welcome back to our English Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we are diving deep into the world of interrogative determiners and interrogative pronouns. We'll explore the differences between them and how they function in English sentences. Let's unlock this aspect of the English language together. Firstly, let's focus on interrogative determiners. These are the words we use to modify nouns and ask questions about which or what. In English, they include which and what. For instance, we can say, what book are you reading? Which car do you like? In these examples, what and which are determining the noun that follows them, book and car respectively. They are asking for a specific answer within a set or category. Moving on to interrogative pronouns, these are used to ask questions too. However, unlike determiners, they stand alone and do not modify a noun. The common interrogative pronouns in English are who, whom, which, what, and whose. For example, who is at the door? Whom did you meet at the party? In these sentences, who and whom are not modifying any noun but replace the noun in the sentence. They are the subjects or objects of the questions. It's important to note that interrogative determiners and pronouns can take the same form, but their functions are different. Let's consider which and what. As determiners, they modify nouns, but as pronouns, they replace nouns. Compare what determiner movie are you watching versus what pronoun are you watching? Which determiner shirt will you buy versus which pronoun will you buy? Now, let's put what we've learned into practice. I'll provide some sentences, and your task is to identify if the highlighted word is an interrogative determiner or an interrogative pronoun. 1. What determiner or pronoun are you doing? 2. Which determiner or pronoun of these is your bag? 3. Who determiner or pronoun left the door open? 4. Which determiner or pronoun should I choose? You can pause the video here to think about your answers. When you're ready, hit play to reveal the solutions. There you have it, a quick tour through the world of interrogative determiners and pronouns. It's a small yet significant aspect of English grammar that can make a big difference in how we express our questions. I hope this video has been enlightening and beneficial for you. Remember, practice is key in mastering these concepts. So, keep practicing and stay curious about the English language. Until our next English language adventure, happy learning!